Hello everyone. Today I'll be discussing on the topic zygarnik effect because this is the topic that you will be covering in your practical. The term zygarnik is named after Russian psychologist Bluma Zygarnik, and what she found was that if we have an unfinished task, we tend to remember it and remember it because it is unfinished. And this is known as zygarnik effect. That is, we tend to remember interrupted or incomplete tasks or events more easily than the tasks that have been completed. Now, say for example that time when you wanted to, you know, watch one episode of your favorite show, but after a few episodes, you are like one more, and the next thing you know, it's 3 a.m. in the morning, or the time when you are reading a novel and you say, "I will only finish this chapter," and you do it. Then you start the next one and the next one, and then you finally realize that you have completed reading the novel. This is a zygonic effect that we have the need for closure and finishing things up. Something in our brain wants us to complete our task. You know, need to find the answer, and it is difficult to move forward if we have unresolved issue. Now, using this theory. You will be conducting an experiment to study zygarnik effect on memory for complete and incomplete tasks. The hypothesis in this experiment is that memory for incomplete tasks will be recalled more than that of complete tasks. The independent variable in this practical is the total number of tasks that will be performed by the subject. The dependent variable here is the number of the recalls of the name of the task. The total number of independent variable are 20 tasks of which there is 10 complete tasks and 10 incomplete tasks. These are the names of the tasks that you will be giving the subject to perform it one by one. Some tasks will be completed by the subject and other tasks you will stop the subject from completing it. The C here means the tasks that you will let the subject to complete and the IC means the tasks that you will stop the subject from completing it. Following are the steps on how to conduct your practical. For calling the subject, these are the materials required that you should prepare beforehand. Once you are ready, you will have to keep the task series away from the view of the subject and then call the subject for your experiment. The next step here is rapport formation that is to make the subject feel comfortable and relaxed. Once it is done, you will instruct the subject in following manner. This is a very simple and interesting experiment. You have to do a number of tasks which are mainly games and puzzles. You have to do each task as instructed within a given time. Tell me when you are ready. After the instruction, you will present the tasks one by one in predetermined order. You have to read aloud the name of the task before starting each task. The purpose of the watch is to let the subject think that they are to complete the task within limited time. They will not know that the tasks are already predetermined in random order that is which are to be completed and which are to be incomplete. In the case of incomplete tasks, the tasks are taken back from the subject when 50% of the tasks are done. After the subject has completed all the 20 tasks, the subject will be asked to recall names of the tasks as much as the subject is able to. The subject will also be asked to tell the name of those tasks that he would like to do again. There are some precautions that should be taken when conducting this experiment. Tasks selected for experiment should have same level of difficulty. No feedback should be given to the subject during the conduction of the experiment. No information should be provided to the subject about recalling of the name of the task in the end of the experiment. In the result of your experiment, if you find that your subject has recalled incomplete tasks more than the task he or she has completed then we will accept the hypothesis and conclude that the subject is experiencing zygonic effect